Barbara. Next on News Channel 3 at 6, a near drowning report at Kitty Beach leads to a rescue of a little girl. She was rushed to the hospital. We'll have the latest. And one of the largest Earth Day celebrations on the Central Coast is going strong. We'll show you where. And auditions took place today for Spirit and Junior Spirit of Fiesta. We have the winners. You're watching News Channel 3 where the news comes first. Live up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 6, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. Some of the most coveted titles during Old Spanish days are Spirit and Junior Spirit of Fiesta. And today, young women and one young man audition. They train for years to take the stage. They dance their hearts out at La Clumbra Junior High. The audience cheered. We will tell you the winners in just a moment, but first, the former Spirit shares what it takes. So there's about six months or eight months of dancing, and it's a lot of behind the scenes that people don't know about. Um, there's also interview prep. Um, we're interviewed the day before the spirit audition. Um, so that's a big part of it. You know, you want to be well-spoken, poised, also uh, have your best dance ready to show the audience. So it is a lot of work. The judges selected 10-year-old Sarah Noretto as this year's junior spirit and 18-year-old Alexis Sementales as the spirit of Fiesta. We'll show you more of those auditions tonight at 11. It is getting warmer and we even saw a record. It is time now for our first look at weather. Sean Quinn is here with more. Sean? Hi there, Tracy. Yeah, definitely warming up across the area. Look at this, all these 80s. A few areas, though, holding on to a little bit of a sea breeze, so only into the 70s, which is still well above normal. The record, Santa Barbara, you topped out at 83. The old record was 81 degrees, which um, not an overly warm record, so probably not that hard to beat, but still, again, record warmth across the region. And as far as temperatures right now, still very warm. Little sea breeze here and there is helping to cool things off just a little bit. And we're going to start focusing on the wind. And the reason being, as you notice right now, all onshore direction or from the ocean to the land, we're going to see a change in the next couple of days where those winds come a little bit more offshore. So we already have a wind advisory from midnight to noon on Sunday, northeasterly direction, gusts over 40 possible. And of course, Santa Ana wind, Tracy, means much warmer weather is on the way. Details on that in just a few moments. All right, thank you, Sean. A rescue at a beach known for little children sent one little girl to the hospital today. First responders converged on Kitty Beach off Victoria Avenue in Silver Strand near Oxnard. Oxnard City firefighters got a call about a girl drowning. She was rushed to the hospital, but her condition has not been released. A three-vehicle accident has left a person dead. It happened around 8.30 Friday night on Highway 101 at Cuesta Springs Road. The CHP says that Gino Lopez was driving his car at a high rate of speed when he lost control and collided into a guardrail. And then a semi-truck, a third car, then struck Lopez's car. A 16-year-old female passenger was ejected from that car and died from her injuries. Another passenger in Lopez's car was taken to an area hospital with major injuries. Lopez was arrested for DUI. Two other people in the other vehicles suffered minor injuries. Santa Barbara City Police are investigating a stabbing that happened on Friday night. Police say that stabbing was the result of a fight that broke out between two men on Punta Gorda Street just after 7 p.m. The victim suffered minor injuries and was taken to Cottage Hospital. No arrests have been made in that case. One of the largest Earth Day weekend celebrations in California kicked off today in Santa Barbara at Alameda Park. News Channel 3's videographer Henry Galvan was there to capture the sights and sounds of Earth Day 2016. Earth Day is one of the longest running events in Santa Barbara. We got a mark half basil for Amy and a mark for Jay. It's a real opportunity to showcase um, environmental products, environmental services, and opportunities for people to get involved in environmental causes. They taste like pizza, <laughs> yeah. And we have a community that's really attuned to that 
type of effort, and um, this is an opportunity for folks to get together and share that experience. Come with me on a magical trip where the narwhals swim and the dolphins skip, where a sloth named Snook likes to shake his hips. Come with me on a magical Earth Day trip. We've got great kids' activities. We've got an opportunity to uh, check out the newest green cars and the green car show. It's gaseous hydrogen. It's 10,000 PSI. What we're standing in front of here is the Toyota fuel cell, hydrogen powered. We've just launched an, um, a new hydrogen station here in Santa Barbara. And that is why today we're having the fuel cell Mirai in the ride and drive right over to our right. This vehicle represents one of the um, solutions on the Central Coast that we have access to now. We're hoping people come away from Earth Day motivated, having shared stories with one another, having learned something, having had a good time. So we're hoping, again, people come away um, inspired and um, ready to do something. People lined up for free dental checkups today. The California Dental Association is hosting this mass dental clinic at the Ventura County Fairgrounds on Harbor Boulevard all weekend. About 2,000 people will be seen by dentists and hygienists volunteering. Dentists are pushing for a Dentical program to help people without access. The doors to the CDA free dental clinic will open again tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. All you have to do is show up. No ID is required, and there are interpreters available. The California Scholarship Foundation held its regional conference at a local high school today. About 300 students from Southern and Central California attended the event at Oxnard High. The California Scholarship Federation has been recognizing academic accomplishments in tangible ways since the 1920s. Most people know it from the seal placed on diplomas. Today, middle and high school students received some of those. Why am I passionate about it? Because it's, it's a nice way to get involved with the school, and it's a nice way to get involved with the teachers and the students and get to know a lot of people that are in your bubble who are, you know, like smart and they're driven, and it's really nice to be, be surrounded around people like that. CFS awards dozens of tuition scholarships for character, leadership, and service in the region. The teachers and advisors from all the participating schools were recognized today, too. Clinton is in California weeks ahead of the state Democratic primary. More on the star-studded event she went to last night in San Francisco and why. And News Channel 3 News goes to Coachella, well, sort of. Two of our own are at the concert. Coming up, we'll tell you what the two lucky reporters who won free tickets to Paradise are doing. You're watching News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Fox 11 News at 10. The most watched news at 10. The largest news team on local television, wherever you are, up and down the coast. Plus, your first alert wake-up weather, all before you head to bed. Local news every night at 10, live over on Fox 11. Like you, we love calling this slice of California home. So keep uploading your social media and hashtag KEYT family. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard, a family tradition for over 40 years. Right now, get great deals on all new and used vehicles in stock, like the 2016 Ford Fusion, the 2015 Ford Edge, and the 2016 Ford Explorer. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Oxnard, just off the 101 on Auto Center Drive. And Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills, located on Ventura Boulevard just west of Canoga Ave. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard, a family tradition for over 40 years. Learn more at VistaOxnard.com. One way or another, I'm gonna find ya. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another, I'm gonna win ya. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another, I'm gonna see ya.
You trapped Dorothy in an unbreakable curse. It's Mulan and Red Riding Hood to the rescue. I can get us out of here. But the Lord of the Dead has other plans. The gods don't like it when mortals play with their toys. New Once Upon a Time, Sunday on ABC. Comedian Conan O'Brien is in Santa Barbara tonight. Tonight, the late-night TV host and comedy writer will get to be personal with a few thousand friends at the Arlington. It was all it is all part of UCSB's Arts and Lectures series, aptly titled An Afternoon with Conan O'Brien. The event was hosted. Oh, it's already happened. Sorry about that. The event was hosted by veteran TV producer Dick Wolf. Hillary Clinton is in California to raise big money and to get her message out. Clinton arrived last night ahead of the June 7th Democratic primary to attend a star-studded fundraiser in San Francisco. Today, Clinton spoke before supporters in Los Angeles to pitch her plans to raise the federal minimum wage and to refresh her criticism of rival Bernie Sanders in advance of Tuesday's New York primary. An independent field poll released this month found Clinton with a six percentage point lead over Sanders in California. And coming up, local anglers vie to hook prizes and cash by bringing home the biggest catch at Lake Kachuma. And there's that beautiful shot we all live here for. You can see just nothing but clear skies, a little bit of haze out there, but that's going to disappear as we see a stronger offshore flow develop. A Santa Ana wind is on the way. Stay tuned for the warm details in just a minute. Jewelry Couture, one of the largest fine jewelry stores in the United States, featuring an extraordinary selection of exquisite fine jewelry, designer brands, and Swiss watches. An incomparable selection of loose diamonds sold at wholesale prices. For life's most cherished moments, nobody says, I do, like we do. Jewelry Couture, the bridal store. Find Swiss watches and gifts. Ventura. Some days I can't believe I have cancer, but I'm a fighter and I don't want to let cancer bring me down. So the first step is to develop a plan. Once we have a plan, we need patients to feel loved. My friends are like, how are you so happy? I was like, I don't know. I walk in there and I just feel like inspired. Caring for our patients here at the Cancer Center is a real privilege. For now, I'm a survivor and I'm going to beat this. Union Bank, proud to celebrate what's right with your community. Like the annual Go Red for Women luncheon, attended by hundreds of local women, which raised more than $100,000 for our local chapter of the American Heart Association. And the 33rd annual Shamrock Luncheon, raising funds to support local agencies whose mission is to assist children at risk, eradicate child abuse, and stop the cycle of violence. Just two examples of what's right with your community. Brought to you by Union Bank. Whether buying or selling a home in Santa Barbara County, you need detailed information, expert advice, and access to the best properties. And now you can have all of them right at your fingertips. VillageSite.com is your premier destination to view complete listings and exclusive properties and connect with top agents. And now our mobile app gives you Village Properties power anytime, anywhere. Visit VillageSite.com or download the Village Properties app. It's Santa Barbara real estate made easy. We're not able to take you, but we are the best at helping you get there. In this 2016 Thor Tuscany XTE 34ST, you'll save over $91,000. Sky River RV, great coaches for great adventures. I know it is spring, but it felt like summer. Too. I know. You know, to me, I always call it like October type of weather. Whenever we see those offshore flow winds, the Santa Ana oh, yeah, winds, that's so and they're warm. coming back. That's Here what they it come is. Again. So let's go ahead and look outside one more time. Absolutely beautiful. Worth, always worth another look. And as far as temperatures, again, I showed you those temperatures at the top of the show. A lot of 70s. I should say 80s. A few 70s right along the coast. There it is right there. New record set. 
today at 83 degrees, only two degrees above the old record, which was 81, and that had stood, had stood uh, for quite a number of years, and again, we just broke a record, so not overly excitable record, but at least we did do that. And you can see even Santa Maria getting up into the 80s, and your normal is right around 67 degrees, well off those normals as far as the lows and the highs, so get used to that. It's going to stay that way for at least the next several days. Current temperatures, widespread 60s, a few 70s, and still some 80s inland. That is definitely looking a little early summer-like as we start to see more of the sea breeze along the coast. We tend to see that big difference between the coastal areas and your inland folks where it can stay so incredibly warm. Although things are going to feel a little more fall-like, as I like to say, as we head toward the next couple of days. And that's because of Santa Ana wind with a wind advisory going into effect later tonight from midnight to noon tomorrow. And that'll be mainly Ventura County and throughout much of Southern California. Of course, even though central, the Central Coast does not typically see the wind because of the mountain ranges, we will definitely see the warmth from that over the next couple of days. And as we were talking earlier, uh, a lot of storminess in the, um, the Central uh, Mountain areas, a big storm and a lot of severe weather ahead of that. Bad news for them, unfortunately for us, as that pushes a little more to the east, high pressure is going to fill in across the area and as that air rotates around there, you get the offshore effect. So I'll step out of the way. That means a Santa Ana wind warm and very dry. A little bit of cooling, though, is expected by midweek. In fact, we might even see some rain in that seven-day, which, of course, I'll show you in just a moment. And there it is right there. That's the Santa Ana direction. The Santa Ana Inez range right here typically keeps the wind a little bit farther south of our entire region, but definitely the warmth will creep up into the region. And again, wind advisory for about maybe um, 12 hours or so tomorrow. So it won't be a big event, but it will definitely be a little breezy. And of course, we will get the, the, uh, the warmth. But good news is, April may go out on a good note as far as rain. Our long-range future cast is showing on both of our maps is showing a little bit of rain showing up. And this is good news, even though this might not be for the next 8 to 10 days, and a lot, a lot can happen in that time. There is definitely a chance we'll see something when both of our computers are showing at least a hint of some rain as we head out of April and head toward May, if you can believe that. Your forecast for the overnight will be into the 50s, maybe a few 40s. Tomorrow, offshore flow, sunny and warm. And those 80s, pretty much widespread, maybe even a 90 in and around some of those uh, inland areas of Ventura County where that Santa Ana wind could be pretty strong. A little bit of surf out there, mainly a wind swell with a little ground swell mixed in. And there's that seven-day forecast again. Warm right through Tuesday. Wednesday, we back it off just a bit, still above normal. And then as we head toward next Friday, look at that, Passable, Passover and Earth Day. I decided to squeeze those both <laughs> in. Um, maybe a hint of rain showing up from north to south wow. as we head toward next weekend. We need it. Yes, All right, Anna. thank you so much. Lake Kachuma is the hosting, it's the place to be if you love to fish. It is hosting the 21st annual Fish Derby this weekend. Our producer, Jeff Goodman, caught a fish eye view of the popular competition. It's an angler's delight at Lake Kachuma. Check out this baby. Fishermen and fisherwomen came from all over to catch the big one at this year's Fish Derby. Crews worked around the clock to get things ready for one of the area's biggest fishing competitions. We're over 400 registrants. They stocked the lake with more than 6,000 fish to better the odds of a good catch. But one fisherman we spoke with said even though he had no luck hooking a mega monster, he had a good time. So was the fishing pretty good? Fishing was horrible, like from federal are used to, but it... it we still caught like I think six fish so far and uh, we were able to get my boat in the water and that was our biggest thing. While others caught the mother load. We have a big one name coming. The fish derby used to be limited to catching trout, but this year the categories have grown to include other fishes, such as carp and crappies. This year the derby offers a plethora of prizes, plus two cash prizes for the heaviest and second heaviest. The heaviest category is a $599 cash prize, and the second heaviest is a $300 cash prize. Even though the lake levels are at an all-time low, the organizers say the event couldn't have been better. It's a grand success. Perfect weather. People are catching fish left and right, and just a lot of families camping. The campground's full, and it's, it's just perfect. Perfect weekend, perfect way to celebrate Earth Day. That is a good way to celebrate. We'll be right back. 
I've been helping people find just the right mattress at Sit and Sleep for 26 years. 12 years. 18 years. At Sit and Sleep, we believe a healthy night's sleep is too important to leave to just anybody. 17 years. 10 years. That's why our people have the best training and the most advanced diagnostic tools anywhere. In fact, we're so confident we'll match you with just the right mattress, we guarantee your comfort. 11 years. 17 years. Sit and Sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free. Shopping for LEDs? Deluxe LEDs pay as you save plan saves you money and time. Deluxe LED consulted with us and supplied us with the perfect lighting scheme for all of our stores. They delivered the lights for our entire house and let me pay with the savings from my monthly utility bills. Great lighting, no out-of-pocket expense. Deluxe LED. Call 805-308-2995 and get your Deluxe LED quote today. For more information, visit keyt.com slash 805professionals. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard. A family tradition for over 40 years. Right now, get great deals on all new and used vehicles in stock. Like the 2016 Ford Fusion, the 2015 Ford Edge, and the 2016 Ford Explorer. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Oxnard. Just off the of 101 on Auto Center Drive. And Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills. Located on Ventura Boulevard just west of Canoga Ave. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard. A family tradition for over 40 years. Learn more at VistaOxnard.com. His values are Central Coast values. Santa Barbara County Supervisor Salud Carbajal. He's been a staunch supporter of Planned Parenthood, an advocate for marriage equality, and a fierce defender of our environment. And Carbajal's made sure our tax dollars are spent wisely. Balanced budgets, the largest rainy day fund in county history, and the highest bond rating in the state. We have a special way of life on the Central Coast. He'll fight to preserve it. I'm Salud Carbajal, and I approve this message. Okay, we know what you want. You want to know what happened overnight. You want your weather. First alert weather. And live traffic. You want it fast. First. Because who has any time to waste? Your best morning start right here. With News Channel 3 this morning and... Good, Good morning, morning, America. Next live. Get your heart pumping and your feet thumping with Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Terry Crews and Scorpion's Catherine McPhee. Next live. At 9 after GMA on Channel 3. After 20 years in the NBA, Kobe Bryant played in his final game, and he went out like a true legend, leading his team to a victory and ending the night with 60 points. But before Bryant's big performance, a certain UCSB basketball player shared his special bond with the Black Mamba. It's really just been an amazing ride. Like, I'm so happy that I got to witness it. Some kids dream about being a friend to a superstar like Kobe Bryant. But for UCSB basketball player Maxwell Kupchak, it's reality. It's all I've known my entire life. If the name doesn't ring a bell, it should. Maxwell is the son to Lakers general manager Mitch Kupchak. Kobe's first game was actually the day I was born, November 1st, 1996. Maxwell is now wrapping up his freshman year as a forward for the Gauchos. And in his years growing up, he was able to witness a player mold into an icon. Every once in a while I got to go out there, shoot around with him a little bit. I mean, more the learning that I took from him was more from watching him, watching him work out. You just see how hard this guy works and I mean, it makes you want to work hard. Like, you, if you see somebody like that, you're like, wow, I can work at least half as hard as him and maybe be half as good as him. Do you implement any of that to your game? Um, every once in a while I have a little Kobe moment, try and hit a little fadeaway or something, but I don't know, it's pretty hard to replicate some of the stuff he does. He's, he's one heck of a player. Maxwell's favorite moment with the Black Mamba was back in 2002. That's when a six-year-old Kupchak sat on Bryant's lap after winning an NBA championship against the New Jersey Nets. Come Wednesday night, he will witness his friend, favorite player, and the idol say goodbye to the game forever. I mean, it, it hurts a little bit. Like, there's really mixed emotions. I mean, you got to be happy for him. But at the same time, it, it hurts. Like, you're not going to see him play ever again, which is just so weird. But, I mean, we'll still always have the memories. We'll still never forget what he did for the city. We'll never forget the Game 7s, the Game Winners. Like, there's so much that he's done that you're never going to forget. How sad is your dad? I think he's going to be a little emotional after this one. I mean, he's been there my, my dad's whole life, my, whole, my dad's whole career there. So, I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be a little sad, but... Tears? Are you guys going to have tears? I don't know about him. He's better at concealing his emotion than I am, but I can't speak for myself. Once, once that guy walks out there, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
I cried. I cried the whole game. But what an epic finish. Kobe Bryant led his team to a victory, finished with 60 points, then he dropped the mic. It was pretty epic. Let's look at sports news return right after this. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard, a family tradition for over 40 years. Right now, get great deals on all new and used vehicles in stock, like the 2016 Ford Fusion, the 2015 Ford Edge, and the 2016 Ford Explorer. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Oxnard, just off the 101 on Auto Center Drive. And Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills, located on Ventura Boulevard just west of Canoga Ave. Vista, Ford Lincoln of Woodland Hills and Oxnard, a family tradition for over 40 years. Learn more at VistaOxnard.com. My name is Jessica Chen. I am a dancer, choreographer, and artistic director of a modern dance company. On yeah. August 11th, 2012, I was in a horrific, near-fatal car accident, and I was airlifted to Cottage. We determined that she had a blood clot that usually arises from fractures in the skull. It's pretty much what we call bread and butter neurosurgery. That said, it's critical that you do it correctly, you do it timely. I was in the trauma ward from Cottage, and then I was released into the Cottage Rehab Hospital. I had to learn how to walk again. The people at Cottage, they have the gift of healing and recovery. It is more meaningful than I could ever explain. Thank you for saving my life. We pay the sales tax at Orchard Supply Hardware. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're giving you an extension where you save on nearly every item in the store. Tired of taxes? We pay the sales tax only at Orchard Supply Hardware. The First Alert Weather App, powered by the largest weather team on local television. Immediate access to live radar, 10-day forecast, and your detailed day planner. The best way to stay informed when weather becomes breaking news. Are you tough enough to wear pink? The Rancheros Visa Medoras are. Join them Saturday, May 7th at 3.30 as they parade in pink through the streets of Solvang to Old Mission San Inez. They'll present a check to the Cancer Center of Santa Barbara with Sansom Clinic in support of programs for breast cancer patients. So wrangle up the family, get your pink on, and help the Rancheros raise awareness for local breast cancer patients and programs at the Cancer Center. See you in Solvang on Saturday, May 2nd. Coachella is in full swing in the California desert, and there are plenty of people from the Central Coast in attendance, including our own reporter Elise Martinez and meteorologist Claire Anderson. Martinez actually won her tickets from 92.9 KJEE just two days ago and promised us a full report. LCD Sound System and Moon Taxi performed last night. Guns N' Roses will take the main stage tonight, followed by Sia on Sunday. Celebrations of Earth Day, we'll, we will leave you with some more of those with some nature photos taken by our own Henry Galvan. The first time ever, get 0.9.